live from NBC4. This is Today in L.A. Coming up, former CIA director George Tenet called it the biggest bio threat in America. So what, if anything, has the U.S. learned since the anthrax attacks of 2001? An eye-opening report is next. It was five years ago this month that America learned firsthand about bioterrorism. Five people died. Seventeen were infected from a series of anthrax attacks. Today in LA's Kelly Mack shows us if we're any safer now from such a threat. In response to the anthrax attacks of 2001, a team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, headed by Dr. Adrian Ponce, developed the BSM-2000, a high-tech bacterial spore monitor that can detect deadly anthrax spores in the air. It was based on NASA technology that ensures spacecraft leaving Earth for Mars are sterile. But in the years since the BSM-2000 was unveiled at JPL, the relatively inexpensive microwave oven-sized device has been installed in only a handful of public areas. The distributor of the BSM-2000 blames what he calls a creeping complacency in the American public. What this country got in, in October of 2001 was a sampling of what bioweapons are like. Indeed, just last month, an FBI scientist revealed that, contrary to public impression, the anthrax used in the 2001 attacks was not weapons grade. That scientist added that such erroneous preconceptions may misguide research and preparedness efforts and detract from the magnitude of hazards posed by simple spore preparations. Anyone with a, a master's degree in biology could have manufactured that anthrax. The FBI has never made an arrest in the anthrax attacks. To be sure, the U.S. government is spending enormous time and money trying to secure America from any kind of terrorist attack. Earlier this month, Congress passed legislation to beef up security at the country's ports, including Los Angeles and Long Beach. But nowhere in that legislation is there mention of the importance of detecting potential biological toxins. There's nothing there on, on bioweapons. It's just really radiation. In the meantime, experts are hoping to develop technology like the BSM-2000 to detect not just anthrax, but smallpox and plague, two other potential biological weapons. Their concern, however, is that such potentially life-saving technology will never actually be installed and used. If we haven't learned the lesson to expect the unexpected, then we really haven't come anywhere at all in, in this war on terrorism. Perhaps Americans should not forget what former CIA Director George Tenet said at the 9-11 hearings. An airborne anthrax attack is the number one biological threat to this country and hoping that the threat never materializes may not be enough. For Today in L.A., Kelly Mack, Channel 4 News.